what should be on your digital packing list for cruises. Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Mahmood. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Why am I making these videos about the MSC Meravilia when there are so many others out there? Click on the link below to watch my video explaining my reasons. Many YouTubers and bloggers have already posted great videos and articles about packing for travel and specifically packing for cruises. I utilized them before my first cruise and I encourage you to watch those videos and read those articles as well. My goal here is to provide a different perspective. In addition to all the things you'll be packing, you will need to print out paper to take with you uh, before embarkation day. So yes, you will need a printer. And the thing is, not everyone keeps a printer at home these days. So you'd have to go elsewhere to utilize a printer briefly, whether it's a public library, FedEx, or UPS, or other commercial printing location. Also consider how you will retrieve your digital information if you don't have internet access. So while it may be tempting to store all your digital files on a cloud inside your and access it through your smartphone, you might actually want to store it um, on your smartphone itself or on your laptop itself so that you can pull up these documents without necessarily having internet access. So what are all these digital items that you should be packing for yourself. Sometimes there'll be digi digital versions of paper that you'll also be taking with you. And sometimes there'll be files that you should have on you, but you're not gonna print. Before embarkation, there are certain digital files uh, you should pack or gather for yourself. So your, a copy of your passport or driver's license will be beneficial to have in case you lose the actual thing. Sometimes there are controversies around making picture, taking pictures or making copies of these two things. Your shuttle confirmation logistics in case you are not driving yourself from an airport to the port or from home to the port. And again, you might wanna save this as a digital file in case you don't have internet. Plane ticket confirmation email or any other plane confirmations just in case you don't have internet. Anything with the QR bar or QR code, um, again, in case you don't have internet, so just have the file with the bar and the code. Uh, receipts of any add-on purchases like excursions, drink packages, internet package, etc. A description of the insurance you purchase for the cruise, and I do recommend travel insurance, as do various YouTube professional uh, YouTube content creators and bloggers. This could be for the insurance a summary or the full plan itself and if you have space on your smartphone why not take both your insurance receipt confirming that you actually paid for it therefore you are covered if you use any version of a special needs form with the cruise line for dietary or morbidity issues you might want to keep a copy of that in addition to having a printout of it and if you go on multiple cruises with the same cruise line and you and you keep using special needs forms you might want to keep past versions of it um, to prove that yes you received xyz services and there was maybe no issue or there was an issue and you want to sort of have that available in case you need to contrast it to your current cruise and your current needs to have certain accommodations you may want to keep a digital copy of your vaccination card in case you go on land somewhere and you weren't expecting that they would ask for a copy of the card, but you have it just in case. And similarly, you definitely need to prove to the cruise line that you have a negative COVID test and that's current as of now. But just in case you're on land and you wanna go somewhere and they need to proof of a negative COVID test, you have that available. Of course, you want digital copies of your cruise ticket, embarkation form, which is part of the ticket, your boarding pass, which is part of the ticket, and luggage tags, which are also part of the ticket, just in case you printed paper and you left it or misplaced it. You're stopping by at a commercial printing location like FedEx or UPS where you can reprint things, or you're in a hotel where you have complimentary printing. And lastly, sometimes you might want to take 
pictures or videos of the cruise line website if they're presenting information on a specific thing and you find that there is confusion about that and you want to show it to someone rather than describe it to someone on board so that they can help you clarify any confusions also you might want to document by picture or video certain contradictions and in information that you're receiving between maybe a website and an app or a website and you know documents received from the cruise line when you're on board you might also want to start collecting uh, more digital copies of documents received and as i mentioned either in this video or an early video you will be given lots of paper many of us live paper light lives now so this might be an example of you know some of the most most amount of paper you're going to be receiving in the recent years so once you receive your cruise card you might want to take a picture of it especially if there is the sh ship's phone number on the card itself and again in case you ever misplace or lose your cruise card all aboard times posted as you leave the ship That'll just help you in case you need to remember when you're on excursion. Other YouTubers definitely recommend this. So every day you'll receive various pieces of paper like your daily planner, your special program, any special notices. Like I did a video about a balcony situation, a balcony cleaning that I had and I took a picture of that. Um, and any other special out of, the, out of the norm notices you receive. Uh, sometimes you will only receive page, paper versions of things like your excursion tickets and uh, you'll not have received any electronic copies from the cruise line because they're not like emailing you or anything and so you might want to take pictures of that just so you have a backup again always in case you misplace paper gets wet wind blows it out of your hand that's happened to me sometimes there is contradiction on board between what the cruise line app is saying and something that a piece of paper that they give you a saying or something that someone else told you verbally. So if you want to document those contradictions and figure out, okay, what is the information I should be following? You might want to take screenshots of what's being said in the app if the app allows that, some don't. Or you might want to have a second device, a second camera or a second person's smartphone and take pictures of what the app is saying. Sometimes you'll have great experience with food. Sometimes you won't have great experience with food or there's a, a, a real situation, a real problem with the food that's being presented to you. And so you might want to take pictures of those. Also, um, I did an example in my food video of I had to have a specialty pasta sauce made for me and I loved it. So I took a picture of it and I'm going to be taking that picture with me again just so I can show it to someone say hey and I'll describe the ingredients in it say hey can someone make me this again you guys made it for me once so hopefully there's um when you do something like that there's a bit more willingness from people to accommodate because you have this sort of evidence from the past so sometimes some people are good with names sometimes they aren't I know that if I take a picture of the crew's name badges and I'll likely remember their name more I'll have a picture of their last name as well. Um, I'll, the name badges will say what countries they're from. So I think that's all helpful information to keep down. And later when you do your official feedback survey, or if you want to write them handwritten thank you notes, you'll at least have their first and last name and often the department they work in so that if you can't hand someone a note personally, you can go to guest services and you have written down their name, but also their department. So it'll be easier for someone else to get the note to them if that's available on your ship. If you ever, this is a little bit obvious to lots of people because so many of us do this in our normal lives when we're on land, but if there's a problem that you see in the cabin or you see a problem or an issue on the ship, you can take a picture of it and that is proof, but it's also a better way than to verbally describe the situation to someone who might be able to help you fix it. So luggage tags, take a picture just in case for emergencies. So this is all extra. This is if you want to be extra you know once you've packed your bags and you lock them up and you place them outside your door on the last night you might want to take a picture just in case maybe you forget what your luggage looks like because you're having a really great time or for some other backup reason you might want to just have those pictures so that once you leave the terminal and your cruise is officially over you have your correct luggage 
and you know obviously it's easy when you meet person when you meet people on board and you want to exchange content information you can just pull out your smartphone and you guys can exchange it and text it and but if you're in a rush or something and or you're not able to you know type in someone's information at that moment into your contacts you can at least take a picture of their the name on their cruise card if not the whole cruise card and so that you can have a future reference but you can also type it in later when you have time so sometimes people still do bring small notepads and pieces of paper with them and sometimes people still do carry things like pens with them, but that's less and less of a trend. So if you're in a situation where you need to write a note but you can't write it down, you can take, uh, you can write yourself a digital note on your phone, whether it's to your email and send it to yourself or you're using a note writing application uh, like Google Task or Google Keep on your phone. But if you're in a situation where you just can't stop and type, but you can actually do a video note, you can do a video selfie and tell yourself a note or tell yourself about a situation that you hope to remember in the future. So different YouTubers have different perspectives and blogs about this. If you're taking medication with you that's prescription and it's ongoing or it's maybe it's sporadic and it's not over the counter, you know, like panel or something. Should you take a medication list or should you take pictures of your actual bottles that your medication came in? So, you know, when you take pictures of the bottles, you'll have the RX number, you'll have the doctor's number, you have the pharmacy, you'll have quantity, exact dosage, and the official name of the medication. So all of that is great, but then you would be at least one picture per medication times the number of medic medicines you're taking versus you can have a paper medication list or a digital medication list in, in which you write out you know all of your medicines and you may include your doctor's information you may include your pharmacist and pharmacy information or you can just have a list of medication by name the dosage the frequency that sort of thing you have to think about how much effort you want to put into either this and if you want to put the maximum amount of effort in you can have both a medication list and medicine bottle pictures. So you're going to have digital files and you're going to have paper files throughout your cruise. Which one should you use? And the way that you can sort of determine that in any particular moment is what's going to be faster and easier for you to pull out and access. If you have to rummage through a bag for a piece of paper, is that going to be shorter or longer than turning on your phone? and starting to open different folders and go to different locations on your phone to pull something up. Uh, I sometimes feel in certain circumstances it's easier to pull out a piece of paper if I've stored it in a convenient location. And sometimes it's easier to pull up a digital record and show it to someone uh, instead of looking for the paper. So you're gonna have all of these papers and you have all these all of these digital files and you have to make a decision about how you're going to spend some of your time on your cruise because are you going to spend it vacationing and then if you need to pull up a digital file and you haven't organized them into subfolders organize them by date or organize them by topical folders are you going to spend a lot of time scrolling through images and files to find something that you need or are you going to spend a little bit of time each day organizing your digital files as you create them. And so I'm lean towards late at night or early in the morning, organizing my digital files a bit uh, from the previous day. Even though this video is about digital files, I wanna make a quick note about the papers you'll receive on board. The documents that you'll receive on board, which will be many printed pages, are not eight and a half by 11 as we're used to in the US and perhaps other places, they're much uh, larger. That's why it'll be helpful to have a document holder that is much larger than four pages, page size eight and a half by 11. This is a very old one, but I'm sure there are newer styles uh, available for sale. I do recommend a clear one. It just makes things easier to see. Similarly, for the paper that you print before embarkation day, you may have to cut out things like the 
luggage tags at home since you're not allowed to bring scissors on board. There may be other pre-printed notes and thank you notes that you'd like to bring with you and you might want to cut them up beforehand. Just as you're not allowed to bring scissors on board, which is often clearly mentioned in the documentation you receive, uh, things that could be turned into weapons are also not allowed. So you might want to do any stapling that you want to do before you board the cruise ship. Many YouTubers talk about bringing magnetic paper clips on board, so that's definitely an option for you, but you may also want to bring some simple paper clips on board with you. Here's my tip for MSC management regarding paper. It seems that there are lots of margin space on your pages, and it seems that the content could be fit into eight and a half by 11 pages. So I hope you all will consider changing that. Another reason why that's helpful is that if there are passengers like me who like to save these pages and we like to put them in the plastic sheet protectors that go also into binders, you have to cut the pages as they currently are in order to fit into regular eight and a half by 11 inch sheet protectors. Thank you for watching my video. I'd love to hear from you on email at fmahmood at wellesley.edu. You can also find me on LinkedIn at that address. And if you do send me a connection request, please go ahead and send me a note. Before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And please go ahead and watch my next video. Thank you.